Well, uh, Springer is giving us the the book for the conference and asked me to do to talk about the this series, which has only 120 pages. The best things to do is to talk about our. Wait a minute. Okay. And the best things to to do is to talk about our our um, uh, book. Okay. I had uh, the honor to help my my brother <clears throat> for this book. Okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, and I also include here the comments of his guru, Professor David Cox, so you can use the book. <laughs> okay. Uh, how, how I. Okay. Well, my, my, my objective here is to show how a problem that seems to socially uselessly, useless could lead us to a very nice, um, important problem in medicine or in science. So I am going to, to go in a slowly in a, a path um, to show that uh, everything is important in academy. So I have a, a discipline in the summer which comes everybody from the university, economists, and, and I know they cannot go up to the end. <laughs> so I give, first day I give a, a test. So I try to find questions that some of people will use and some not, okay? So in our problem is very simple. I select, um, I select a point randomly in a circle with radio one and ask what is the density of this distance, okay? So half of the, <laughs> the, the people go out of the, of the, the course because uh, they don't know the basic of statistics. And some that um, don't know how to to, to give the density of that distance. And uh, I tell them that it's very simp simple because you think about the distribution function and then take the ratio of the, the little circle against the big one and you are going to see that it's a very simple one. In the end you get the, you always, oh, my good. And you get the, the answer for the, the distribution function, and then you get the density, simple. Um, so, then you start to, to take this picture and increase the problem. So what is the, what should be the, the cap of the, the circle outside here, all right, the, the, this, this cap? And you ask, what is the, dis the, the density for the area of the cap? And then you think about, um, ev everyone knows here what is the, the distribution. And it's crazy, you know, because I, 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 my intuition can't give the, the answer. But then you look at the, what we have done before, okay? Uh, you look here and see what is the distribution of D. It's D2, okay? So, D2 is a uniform distribution. Universe, uniform distribution, uh, and then one minus, uh, pi minus that, uh, the, that pi D2 is the uniform distribution in zero to pi. So few people solve that problem. Okay? Now you change the picture and do the same thing here. The cap of the square. And yet we are going to get the same thing. You, know? you have a uniform distribution now from zero to four instead of zero to pi. 
And then I change the picture and go to diamond. And in the diamond also, we have a uniform distribution from zero to two, which is very strange for, for us. You know, you're thinking the tuition, how, how this area outside could be a uniform distribution. Okay, so then I had to write a book with my brother. And I said, well, we have, to, uh, we have to talk about model selection. I have three pictures. And I say, well, somebody choose the picture, choose one picture, and took a sample, random sample inside that picture. What was the picture he chose? That was my first example in the Bayesian chapter. So I use that particular problem to motivate the chapter. And uh, you see, we c it can be one of the three pictures if you fix the only the three ones. So then you go there and you see here, you will choose for sure the red one, which is the square. So it's the smaller area is the picture you must choose because the likelihood is the inverse of the area, then to the power n, in fact. So the smaller area is the best, is the best, best picture. Okay, and you can have the diamond and you can have the circle. All right? So for what? Why, why you give a problem like this? It's completely useless. Nothing to do with your life, you know. And then, I work with applied statistics, and we have a center which, from which we receive people. So I'm going to show you uh, what, what we got from here. Now, before, before that, I want to give you all the distributions for the, the choices and the, the likelihoods and the posterior distribution for the parameters of each figure, which is a, uh, is a Pascal. Uh, distribution, and uh, everything becomes very, very interesting from here. All right. So I have the, the distribution of the area. I have the mode, mean, median, and all that. Okay? And that's a go on. So I can, I can do some work with my students up to here. <laughs> And then uh, uh, that's the, the, the Pascal distributions for choosing the... So, a physiotherapist came with the problem to help the, med the doctor, doctors with the... Mo oh, I'm sorry. So I'm so bad in this thing. Multiple sclerosis. They, multiple sclerosis, they have uh, levels of uh, gravity. So they want to help the doctors for the diagnostic. What, what they do, they put uh, the client in a, in, a, in a platform, and the platform starts to shake. And the machine goes and picks the points in the plane. So it starts to, to pick the points in the plane. So that's what we need, you know, a plane with a lot of points, and in, in that's not random, I know that. So let's go on. Um, the, other, the, other thing, the, the other thing interesting, you're going to see that um, many of the students who, to, who take the class, they start to suggest things, and some people do uh, complicate your life, in fact, you know, because uh, they start to, to look, you are doing something that's not completely right, okay? Well, so the, the experiment they do is f in four types. Open eyes with fixed platform. They put the, the guy there and, 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 you know, multiple sclerosis, the, the guy goes like this. Can, can't be a, a, the time this, they, they put the, the, the patient. And they are going to complicate the life of the patient up to the last one that the eyes closed in the platform uh, moves. Okay? 
And then here you have all the, I, I, I could not put in English all these things in the picture because I don't know anything about computers. So, okay, thank you. I, I'm going to get that. <laughs> all right. Here are examples of one, two patients. One with a, a big problem, the other one is not, uh, no, no complaints. The one with complaints and the other one not, not the complaints. In the, in the four types of the difficulties, okay? So we start to look at the, our pictures, pictures there and start to see what is the best representation for the this, this fellow, uh, one of my students want to go to the path of the, the line. And we want to look at the, some area, the smaller area that contains the, the, the points. For sure, the convex who would be all right, but uh, could be complicated to, to do the modulation. You, you want to, to find a model for that, it's, could be kind of uh, difficult. So I, we did um, a circle using the smaller distance to the center. We use the convex rule. We use the, the um, square also. So we, we, we tried some, some pictures to, to, to have the, the evaluation, statistical evaluation. So uh, let's jump for here. So one, one of the students who were in my class one day said, have you seen the super ellipse? I have never seen that. I did not know that. So the guy gave me this, this formula, okay? Oh, sorry. He gave me this formula and moving these parameters, you can get everything, okay? So you can look, uh, 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 can look at pictures that will adjust better to, the, to your points. And he also made a program that moved the picture in the way he wants. Now, so we could compute the area of the, the, the picture, the, 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 the design, you know. So we, we could do that but we could not get the optimal, the optimal figure, which is really a very difficult problem. So there are people trying to do optimization. Integration, we could do already. Well, we could, I, I, we, ha, we have tried some, some, I have some solutions, but uh, I, I, somebody here is, is going to be mad at me because did not converge the, the programs. The programs is not all right yet, okay? Um, so, then we try to, to have another question. I want to have a, um, a distribution that is like a Chinese hat, okay? Like this, like we saw yesterday in the, in the post section. So we start to think what we could, could do. I, then I remember the Laplace distribution. I, I don't know if you remember that. We have two uh, exponential distributions like this, you know. So you put a model, the model of the, the X, and then you get a distribution like that in the, in the, in the line. But I have a X and Y in my problem. So I remember the whole gate uh, distribution with the Poisson distributions. So I'm going to do the same thing with Laplace distributions. And um, I took, um, you, you take three random variables, independent Laplace distributions, and you take X plus Z and Y plus Z, and then you have dependency and you have how, almost how you need. And I realized that I need more than the Laplace. I, I, did, not, I did not do yet this, this one here. See, here I want to take the Laplace and change this half here to pi, a proportional probability. I want to move 
this one of this better to be make these two parameters different the left side different from the right side I, we did not do this yet okay but it, it's a, it's a new new research i believe because it, it looks very nice so what I'm going to do with the three, the three, sorry for the Portuguese, because I forget to translate the, 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 the things here. But you have three distribution, Laplace distributions, and I want to, to make our dependence. If I use the whole gate, you only use uh, positive dependence. You need to have negative dependence also. So you, you can have all kinds of dependence if you change the model. The advantage of that, to have three independent, because you can estimate all the parameters without much problem. Not in the new distribution, but in the, in the regular one. Another thing important is because the guy, the patient is in the middle, in the zero, zero, all the time. So I don't have the to talk about the mean, I, I thought, but it's not true. <laughs> okay, so let's see what happened. With this distribution, remember the, the, the figures. I can have all kinds of figures. Okay, thank you. I can have all kinds of figures. So that, this, this is 95%, uh, uh, 98% uh, um, credit by Cardinal interval, the cardinal set. Only to show you, I can have all the pictures. I took my examples, for, ex for instance, you see, uh, I'm going back, no. Yes, well, with this, I, I can estimate all the parameters, very, very simple, only by looking at the sample. I, I have no problem for that. And, uh, I took my examples for the square that we had. We can see that the distribution fits very well. So I can, I can have a, a distribution that you can think that generates the data. I can have the diamond. I change the model there, you know, and I can have whatever I need. But the circle, I have a problem with circle because we have a small sample. I believe I cannot get the circle. You may, may tell me what happened. Well, let me, see, let me show you what happened with a patient. The patient have many. I have to pick one patient to do the likelihood for him. I, they have 2,000 points in the, in the plane. So I, have, I all have one likelihood for each one. I, I, I all have one positive dis distribution for each one. So what I, I think I'm going to do is to take a meta-analysis of all patients of one kind, a meta-analysis with all patients of the other side, and then compare the two groups, okay? And then to see how nice is the distribution, I got this for, uh, oh, you, you, you are, going to tell me, you choose the right uh, observations. Yes, I did. Because there are one, uh, uh, some ones like this. Uh, let me tell you, show you, for example. See, I, I will not get from the Laplace, I believe, something like this. But if I change the, the distribution, I for sure I'm going to get one like that. Okay, so from one little problem in the summer course, I could go in a path that goes up to scientific papers. Okay, thank you very much.